okay welcome to Adobe Photoshop basic to intermediate um, video class and in this lesson we'll be looking at how you can work successfully with your beginners um, interface and once if you have um, Photoshop installed and you have your icon um, saved on the docker or your desktop you can go ahead and click for me I have, I have worked um, so so I've worked on so many projects so I have this on ground already but if you're new if you're just using Adobe Photoshop you should have something like this first this tab will come up first so but first of all what we have you to focus on um, is um, your functions here on the right hand side so you will want to change your title to something maybe project one and you will go ahead to uh, as well change your width and to go ahead to change your width and um, height as well so you also have your dimension uh, preset down here where we have pixels inches centimeters millimeters points pixels so, but majorly we'll be focusing on pixels in inches because those are the major most used um, dimensions so for the pixels the more you have your numbers the higher the boxes because most of our screens most of our images and screens and digitals are made up of tiny boxes of pixels majorly even your screen that you're looking at the pictures in your screens they are made up of thousands of um, pixel boxes so the higher your number the clearer or more crispy your images will look and the lesser it is the lesser um, your image will look so I know you've you you've heard of um, two megapixels camera back then so you you can imagine what two megapixel camera would be so very low um, images you do have then but now we have as I as um, um, 16 megapixel cameras 34 and so on so the more the pixels um, the more clearer or more crispy your image will be so for for pixels um, you would as well want to look at um, your orientation your, your width and your height determines your orientation so by default once you insert your width and your height Photoshop um, will will uh, adapt your dimension you can as well change um, the orientation manually so you can click and it will highlight um, whichever the orientation you want to choose so here we have the portrait and here we have the landscape okay so for the resolution we are still on uh, pixels and note as well pixels are majorly used when you want to design for screen and digital not for print so if you're designing um, a project for print for sorry for for screen and and digital you definitely want to um, use pixel and also your your resolution should vary from 72 to 200 now why 72 why 100 you would want to have a very low file if you are designing for website if you're a website designer because we all know that um, for your website to um, load as quick as possible you need a very low 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 res images which has no uh, eye sizes and if you design for maybe Facebook social media platforms or just for screen display any any other thing pertaining to digital you should stick to 200 okay so um, and also stimulating your pixels per inch now for for the screen um, display designs so for the color mode you still want to maintain your RGB under your color mode we have different color modes but basically you want to um, stick to RGB which is red green uh, and blue color so you don't use RGB um, color mode for, for, for print you stick um, to CMYK but 
for now we're focusing on um, our gb which is for what they call it now which is for um screen digital display so for 8 bit you want to remain at 8 bit um or if you feel you want to have more colors you can increase to 16 or 30 so but have it in mind your file will become larger but the colors will come out well you can still stick to white background because definitely you want to work with uh, uh, work with other backgrounds for the advanced options i would advise for now don't um adjust leave the default settings okay so let's now go back to a dimension preset so for print you would want to go for inches centimeters or millimeter depending on the measurement you are given to work with so now if you see you need to also change this to fit into your design project so it's also still affect your orientation as well so if you insert let's say 16 by 23 which is literally your a2 size measurement so if you notice the orientation changed so i can still even change the orientation if i want now for your resolution you should stick around 300 and above because you're going to print and it's going to come out in large format and you want it as crispy as possible so um you should stick around 300 and 600 if you print it for billboard you would want to go somewhere around 400 but i think there are some printers who uh, can adapt your design to large format printing even when you save at 300 and your work will still come out clean now for the color mode you would want to use cmyk now remember we're talking about printing here so your cmyk stand for cyan magenta yellow and black so um so these are the two major color modes you will basically want to work with um our gb and and um, cmyk cmyk for print and rgb for screen so now except if you are working on picture editing and you want to edit on um uh, what do you call it now black and white you can go for grayscale and if you are working um on a raw picture and you want to go through a lab you have to go for wrap lab color sorry okay and for that you might want to also go as a system bit you can still leave your background at white okay so let's move to this left side of um, the opening tab so you would also see that i have recent works i've works i've done recently so so this is where your recent works will be and your saved or precept um dimensions this is where it will be okay let me show you how so for this project if i want to save this all um details all these dimension and details i would have to just um come to this icon here and click save document precept so i will save maybe let's say a2 printing a2 so once i save precept to save so it's the same thing i have right here so um to come on the save so you can save so you coming all over again inserting the dimensions and uh, wasting a precious time so you also have um, a precept already template for photo editing dimensions if you see uh, if you look deep um, if you look closely into um, the ppi <coughs> your resolution by default photoshop as um as advice it should be at 300 so you see because you know you're going to print the files also print you can also see as well you have a 3 a 5 a 6 and all every other one as well as hat and illustration poster dimensions and all those things because you definitely have to end up printing them so that's why you have 300 ppi that's your resolution now also for web remember i talk about web that you need to stick stick to as uh, stick to a very low dimension a very low resolution sorry so if you look at um this what we have here we have 72 so 
Photoshop as well by default as help in 72 ppi for your work so mobile you can as well find templates to work with so you can find different um, dimensions for different font size theme as well um, for video <coughs> edits for frames for for videos you can as well see different dimensions and their resolution okay so I think uh, you will be good with that so with this we can go ahead and uh, uh, create okay here we have it so like I said earlier what we'll be looking at in this lesson is just looking at um, um, our preferences how we can customize our preferences we might not be looking through all but we'll just take you through the major ones that you will need um, to adjust to fit your work then we'll come back to look at all these tools that we have so let's quickly look at our preferences for those using um, windows your preference should be under should be under your files so from your preference you go to your general so but for mac users for mac users like me so i have my preference here and i go to my general so under my general these are my settings so i can customize to fit into what i want so like this for example once my job is done i want it to have a beep so yes i need it so i, I checked it so you can check through yours and see um whichever one that you feel you need to check and uncheck and for your interface appearance you would want to also change to color that fits your view so you can either change to white a little bit of gray a dark shade of gray then darker shade so you can <coughs> as well look around and see what you can change okay also i think this um you might just want to leave also um, also these you might just want to look around and see how you want your tools to function and h3 lag um, this you might not want to really want to handle so you have um, your file hand handling as well then this is actually important so you want to uh, save your files at every moment or at every opening you you have so you want to say always save save as save as to original folder save in background so you will not lose uh, your file so you can look at every other things here you can as well save if you want to um, check okay you also have this this is also important quick export location ask where to export each time definitely you want our advice you click on this you check this up because sometimes you might save a file and you might don't and you 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 might not know where exactly you save the file so your performance is also really really important our advice you increase if you have it at um at at this position I would advise you move the feather up to the full so you have more size to work with and I also advise to check the use graphics processor because it's um, help you to use some effect effectively okay history states as well our advice increase you increase to the highest you also this advice you also increase okay your scratch takes this is also important this is where your this is where you determine if you can continue to work or not because once your text is full um you will not be able to do um your project so it's advisable to check if you have two or one or three you can check all of them so this is not really much important but you can look through and do what you want to do with that so we have transparency gamut is not much important as well you can look and see what uh, and you can um, change but photoshop has done the default settings which i think is work is working fine also these here uh, yeah units and rulers i think this 
should also take note of especially this point if you remember we talk about our resolution for print and resolution for screen so by default you can also change your default setting here that every of your print um, design will be 300 and um, um, every of your screen design should be 200 so you can change your setting so you can look things around and change so this you can leave as default as well this as well this this is very important we all write from um, most of us write from um, from left to right we type from left to right and not right to uh, left unlike uh, the Asian um, um, countries the Asian countries so we also have this um, you can look through these settings if you are into 3d so you can make you should make sure that you have all these um, um, checked when necessary so this is for uh, my Mac uh, because I do have a touch bar so is asking if I should show touch bar property so it's checked so it's for those who have uh, touch bar or using MacBook Pro and as for this you can leave at default check so that's that for our preference customization so you can look things around and customize to suit yourself all right so let's look at what we have um, on our left hand side which is basically our tools and tool options so um, if you look down you will see that we have various tools um, we can make use of while we are working or intending to work on a project so first of all you have here um, your move tool and um, the move tool has no uh, tool options why because for every tool that has two options you would definitely see a tiny um, light arrow um, at, the, at the right button so your move tool don't have that so it has no tool options so and every tool has their sh keyboard shortcut so for for move tool you will see you have your v and also in the description video you see how it's being used or how you can use the tool okay now let's move to the next tool which is rectangular mark you tool so look closely into the video the script descriptor shows you how you can use it it makes a selection in the shape of a rectangle so you in, in, in our coming videos you will see how you can use them but these are just descriptors so now let's see the two options that we have on the um, re rectangular mark you uh, tool so we have elliptical marker tool they are both hem for the um, keyboard shortcut so you can either choose whichever one you want okay for for the top tool we have lasso tool which makes freehand selections so you can easily draw things out and select just the way it's been described in the video all right um, also it has tool options so we also have polygonal lasso tool so polygonal lasso tool is L create straight edged selections um, with the tool so let's see the fourth one the fourth one says quick selection tool and the keyboard shortcut is W and this makes a selection by finding and following the edges in an image so you can quickly select image and call out images from the background also we have um, the 3d material hydropod tool um, I know basically um, this is for 3d modelers those who are into 3d those who are the intention of creating 3d okay so this is brush tool which you will always always I would say always use you can run away from this tool it will be your favorite tool okay so it paints custom brush strokes so for the keyboard shortcut the keyboard shortcut is B so once you can click on B 
you will have it you will have your tool so you can paint things out so that's brush tool so for you for your um this is the seventh tool okay i guess yeah seven tool so we have your clone um clone stamp tool which has a keyboard shortcut of s so you can click on s once you click on s you will have your tool it can function now because i have no image to work on so in a descriptive video you can see the way it's being used so paint with pixels from another part of the image so select one part of the image and paint on paint another part of the image then you have um, your image cloned okay let's quickly go back to brush tool and check the option tool so we have pencil tool we have color replacement tool we have mix brush tool okay so also for your quick selection tool we have a magic wand as well so you have something like this very nice select um they select similarly colored image areas so it's very very interesting to use okay on the on the clone stamp tool we also have pattern stamp tool you can create patterns and paint it all through your your project okay so here we also have um eraser tool so you have e as the keyboard shortcut so the eraser tool changes pixels to the background color or makes them transparent so basically it makes your image or some part of your image transparent just as it's been described in the video okay you also have 3d material drop tool uh, drops material loaded in the tool onto the target area of a 3d um, object for those who will be working with trading okay this is another tool um apart from a razor tool and brush tool that you will always constantly i say constantly um use um your horizontal uh test tool you can avoid it as horizontal type so under this we still have some um tool options which is vertical type to from from up to below or from below to top so the horizontal type tool is from your left to your right so so the next tool is our pen tool and the shortcut uh, keyboard is p so makes and changes parts or shapes with anchor point and handles so you can easily draw parts or your shapes as you desire so you can see something like this if I want to replicate what I have here so you can easily uh, make your drawing it's actually stunning how you can make things come to life with these tools so this is your pen tool with a sh keyboard shortcut of P okay so it has a um, tool options as well you have freeform pen tool curvature pen tool hard anchor point tool so this this point this notes they are called anchors anchor point we also call them notes so i can either add or delete such an interesting tool okay let me undo so this is my pen tool to honor the pen tool you have various tool options as well here is my direct selection tool which has um, a as a keyboard shortcut so you can select the individual point your anchor point and segment of a part so this is what we mean so you can easily move each anchor point and also the handles with this tool okay so this tool also has a tool option which is 
path path selection tool whose shortcut keyboard is a select a all path for example see it does not select individual anchor point like its brother <laughs> so this young lady right here select the whole uh, object so that is your path selection tool so right here we have our custom shapes so under the custom shapes we still have two options we have rectangle to rounded rectangle to um, ellipse to polygon to line to then custom shape to itself so what does custom shape do so it says draw shapes from a custom shape list so we have various list up here wow you can work with so interesting very, very interesting so instead of bothering yourself on how to create a new hand or to download and hand shape from somewhere you can easily say excuse me okay you can easily okay draw your end don't worry in, in, in coming videos you'll be looking at changing colors and so but for now I just want us to see what those tools looks like so you also have your um rectangle tool this allows you to draw rectangles just the way it's been described in the video so also the rectangular tool draws round shade also a loops tool use it to draw sphere shapes so these are interesting tools you would definitely use regularly so you have your and tool which has a, a keyboard shortcut of h so pans over different parts of the of an image so for example okay the way i can use that yeah is when you have your image or your work area zoomed in so this tool also has two options so we also have rotate view tool which i found so useful so interesting so you can move your teach your work area to suit your view so this will um, avoid you from bending your neck or turning um, your eyes all around and and that could make you sick sometimes so you also have the zoom tool right here so magnifies or reduce reduces the view of an image okay so and the keyboard shortcut is z so right here we have more tools in most photoshops we have these three dotted um, uh, lines these ellipses so in it we have so many all the various tools that are not on the list here so you can select any and see what works well uh, what uh, you can do with them but i can assure you the major ones you need to work with are here for all this that you have right here they are for effect for wonderful and <laughs> glorious effect they are very very useful but they are not regularly being used as the way you will use these ones that are already listed on the two bar and a worry of note is something um, I actually um, fought with while I was learning. So is um, for every of your tool you select, right? You have a property bar right on top of your work area. See? Don't forget that. So you can easily manipulate and adjust the properties whichever way you want right so 
See? So, every tool has its properties, so you can come up here and check the property. So, I think for the tools, we've been able to see what the tool options are as well and um, what they can do and all other various tools that we have now here yeah, we also have our um, foreground color and background color in further videos we'll be looking at the usefulness but basically have it in mind we have these are called set um, your foreground color you can set it you can as well set your background color whichever one um, you want to choose okay so I think for this video we are good to go so we've looked at the interface for a fresh project and we talked about your naming your width your height your orientation resolution color mode and the recent panel the saved panel the photo um, panel the print panel as well we will look at the template measurement that we will have so I think with this we can um, create your first project and name it thanks for watching bye for now